Welcome to today's video. Today is the Armored Tank Speed Monster build. That is my name for it. Terrible name, but you're going to get the point. It's the fastest tank you've ever seen. So I want you to hit the fastest like on this video that I've ever seen. And also guys, over 60% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So join us, join the crew, we'll straighten you out. Slap that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get into this absolutely nasty build I'm about to show you. So of course, the first place to start with our setup is the exotic armor that we're using the Antaeus Wards. Reflective Vents is the exotic trait. Improved Slide. Sliding after sprinting for a short time reflects incoming projectiles. You guys know by now, surely. It gives you increased slide distance and it also pulls up a little shield that can block and crucially also deflect projectiles back to whoever shot them. Juggernaut. This goes hand in hand with Antaeus Ward. It's a little shield that you put up and it builds up by sprinting. So the idea is that you'll use the Juggernaut shield as you're sprinting at someone and then you will slide with the Antaeus Ward shield to finish off the job. Knockout will really help with that, giving you big, big damage to your melee and giving you increased range after breaking someone's shield. So it's just perfect. Now we're using the thruster class ability, obviously, because we want to utilize the movement. And that is also why we're using seismic strike. So now you have the armored tank through Juggernaut and Antaeus Wards, but you've also got speed and mobility through thruster and seismic strike. Now fragments, it gets even spicier here. Now this fragment I feel is an absolute must and no matter what your build is you should have spark of focus on after sprinting for a short time your class ability regeneration is increased who wants to thrust less you know what I'm saying the other fragment is spark of resistance and spark of feedback these two really play into the tank aspect and also the deflecting aspect of Antaeus Wards. so spark of resistance in pvp if you're surrounded by two players it will kick in and it will basically give you damage reduction and obviously stacking damage reduction with Juggernaut and Antaeus Wards, you get the gist of that. And then our other fragment is Spark of Feedback. Taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage. Again, you're flying in with Juggernaut and Antaeus Wards. You're likely going to receive a melee in that time. If you decide to fire back with your own melee, then it's going to do more damage. It's just a really, really, it's almost an obvious sort of build, isn't it, in a way? But it's so good together. It's very powerful, very aggressive and tanky, but also fast idea with this setup when you put it all together it is just very very fun the gameplay you're seeing is in eruption i managed to play a little bit of eruption before it went away i came back from my holiday right before eruption left so i managed to get in there and this build is really perfect for that mode because it's so fast and aggressive and like i said okay so you have juggernaut shield you run in juggernaut's gonna block damage and then that's out right and then you slide and you pull up the antaeus wars and the thing is you gotta remember, Antaeus Ward isn't like Juggernaut because it deflects stuff too. So it pulls up the shield and not only will it block it for you, but it will also deflect stuff back to the people who are shooting you. So basically say they're shooting you with a primary and you slide at them, you're, you're chipping at them a little bit at their health with their own gun. And if they're using something hard hitting like a shotgun or a sniper rifle or whatever, they're gonna take big damage from their own weapon. I even managed to get kills where I got sniper headshots by sliding into them. And I got a kill with the new Ark Hunter Super by sliding at it. So the Antaeus Wars has that utility. On top of that, it gives you increased slide distance, right? And then you've got Knockout. Like you can see there, boom. Just able to take advantage of the fact that the shields are broken. Lunge in with the melee. Get your health back. Repeat the process. It is absolutely marvelous. Now, when it comes to stat spread, I recommend having 100 resilience, 100 strength, and as much recovery as you can get. And I think you're basically good to go. When it comes to weapons, I was using Chaperone here, just being very aggressive with the shoddy plays. And I haven't even gotten around to talking about resistance and feedback. That is so crucial here because you're going in there and you're running into groups, right? It only needs two players for resistance to activate. You've got the shields. You've got the increased melee damage stacking with knockout. This is a crazy build. Like, you know, sometimes you make a build and it's like, it's okay. It's kind of niche. It's kind of fun. It's kind of good. Nah, nah, this is actually nuts. And this is actually nuts. Like, 
Okay, what's nuts nuts is my thunder crash ability. Nobody saw that. I don't want to talk about it, okay? No one saw that. Look away from your screens. Just kidding, don't look away. In fact, I forgot something in this video. I forgot something. Listen, my friends. My friends, you know all the salty people who would always say Titans are the tank class. That's why they can't be mobile. Well, look at me now, my friends. Look at me now. Thrusting, seismic charging. Oh my goodness. Combining this movement with all of this tankiness and this increased melee damage and just the reflecting stuff back at people. If that wasn't enough, now I've got seismic strike. I've got thruster. So I can, you know, I can dodge and weave and, you know, I can look like a butterfly and sting like a bee, my friends. It is absolutely beautiful, man. Putting all of this together. Guys, <laughs> I've got to be honest with you. You guys know I'm a Void Titan through and through, but man, I've been playing a lot of Arc Titan since this season, and I'm starting to get really, really used to the dodge, man. I really am. It's so good. Like, I know it's not as good as Hunter Dodge. You know, it's so good I'm deep diving off Pacifica into the deep blue sea. It's so damn good. It's not as good as Dodge. Fair enough. It doesn't have all the utility that Dodge gets, but I'm a Titan main. I haven't been dodging that much the past couple of years. You know what I'm saying? So just using it in isolation on Titan, I just absolutely love this thing, man. And then being able to combine it with shoulder charge, you know, you could shoulder charge into an area and you could seismic strike to your, or you could thrust to your left rather. You know, it's just so much fun. And by the way, there is that Arc Hunter super. Did you see that? This is what Anteus Wards can do. Just look at that. It's my super now, son. I'm the King of Lightning and the King of Thunder. And look at this, watch this. Hit this guy, right, bang look at that that is beautiful and that hasn't even got anything to do with the build that's just on top of the build right because that's pure neutral game now for titan or at least for arc titan it's pure neutral game i think that's what makes this build so powerful because you're putting these two things together aren't you you're putting together full-on frontal assault blocking damage reflecting damage cqc aggression you're putting all of that together but you're also combining it with like elite movement utility now when you combine shoulder charge and thruster together, that is elite movement utility. Maybe you could say, you know, dodge is better or dawn blade skating is better. And maybe there's an argument for that, but being able to combine two ways to quickly change your direction. So for example, you could sprint in shoulder charge and then you could thrust to the other side, right? That is a lot of movement utility. So you can switch up how you're playing on the fly with this setup. You can go from right. I am just that donkey running at you in a straight line. I've got Juggernaut Shield. I'm going to slide, close the gap. I've got Antaeus Wards. I've got Knockout. I've got a Slug Shotgun on. You can go from that to being tricky, to being nimble and just getting in and out of bad positions. Did I clip right there? One of those guys hit me with a Thunderclap melee. I think I reflected it and tanked it with Spark of Resistance. And then I obviously secured the kills. That is an example of how tanky this setup is. But again, you're combining tankiness with speed now. It's a different proposition altogether look at that this wasn't ready for that was he now combine that again and we haven't even mentioned the fact that you know i'm using an arc weapon right an arc special or energy weapon so i'm getting amplified frequently and amplified obviously makes you even faster now i wouldn't recommend jumping with amplified but combining the increased slide distance of amplified with juggernaut and antaeus wards is insane by the way that was a sniper headshot look at the feed look at the feed it is actually insane like there has never been a build like this in Destiny 2. I think in Destiny 1 at some point, you know, when we had Titan Skating and we had Jug Shield, it was insane. But I'm telling you, obviously, Destiny 2 plays at a much faster pace than Destiny 1 in general. So it's just a different ball game. Again, there, I slid in, I tank damage, I popped super. Like, it is, you just bust the door down with this build. It is insanely good, man. It is potentially, this is potentially the absolute best Arc 3.0 Titan build that there is in the game. Because, like I said, you're putting everything together here and it suits the, the style of the subclass down to the ground as well. You know, breaking shields, getting knockout, sliding in, using a shoddy, but also being versatile enough now to be a sniper subclass, but also just being able to close the gap. It is it is special, man. So check this build out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a dim link down below as well in the description. So check it all out and I will see you guys in the next one. Much love and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'm live on Twitch, so come over, twitch.tv, post slash shake. Much love, peace out.